you don't have money but you want to live a soft life but who told you you needed money to live that soft life that is why i'm here to awaken people and make you understand that living a soft life is completely different from living a luxurious life you can live a luxurious life that is soft but it doesn't necessarily mean that you living a soft life must be luxurious <laughs> Big boys and big girls, big nights back with another video. And as you can see by the title today, we're talking about living a soft life. How to live a soft life in Christ. That is exactly what we're going to be deliberating on. And I'm going to be giving you a few points on how you can start living the soft life that you want, but you think you cannot have. Because a lot of misconceptions are attached with living a soft life that is preventing and stopping people from actually living a soft life. Now, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nadu Bella and I am a faith and lifestyle content creator here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Please do well to subscribe, like, comment, and also go follow me on my other socials because, you know, we're just trying to build the network, the connection. Now, enough chattering. Let's get on to why you're really here. You want to live a soft life. But babes, pause. Let us go and search for what exactly a soft life is. So, definition of a soft life. Soft life is a term that means living a life of ease, comfort, and happiness without requiring any hard work, sacrifice, or unpleasantness. Let me take it again. Soft life is a term that means living a life of ease, comfort, happiness, without requiring any hard work, sacrifice, or unpleasantness. You notice how they didn't say soft life is having all the money in the world. You notice how they didn't say soft life is spending a lot of money on expensive things that your bank accounts cannot necessarily afford because once you use that money, you'll be broke for the next only God knows how many days, months, weeks, years. It says a life of comfort, a life of ease. So I don't understand where the mentality of luxury, soft are the same. That is why I'm here to give you a few pointers on how you can actually live a soft life without breaking your bank account and living it in Christ. One huge conception is that once you become a Christian or once you submit your life to living for Christ, you automatically have to suffer or you have to, you know, you can't enjoy life. But come to think of it, he said he has plans for good and not to harm us. So what necessarily makes you think that God has called us to a life of suffering? Yes, he said you have to be willing to pick up your cross daily because he knows the type of world we are living in. We are living in a world that is controlled by the prince of this world, the prince and ruler of this world, which is the enemy, the devil. So he's going to throw the trials, the tribulations and all those things in your way, in your path to make sure that you are living a life that God has not necessarily called you to. Now, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking on my laptop trying to read like the points that I have made for you so that I don't get all over the place and messed up. So our first point is going to be be intentional about your life. Be intentional about your life. You need to be deliberate about your day to day. Don't live the go with the flow type life. Make decisions, make goals and plan to achieve them daily, weekly, monthly, baby. You know the life was like, okay, it's another day. Everything happens, happens for a reason. And you know, I'm just going to live life how it goes. Whatever happens, happens. No, whatever happens doesn't happen. Today, I actually woke up late and it's a very good example for this video that I'm making because I was so tired I was so exhausted and I was feeling so weak so I woke up later than usual I woke up around 10 and it was even because I had a delivery so that the guy called me that was when I had to arouse him awaken from my day now when I came back I felt like I had so much to do and how am I going to put all these things together because it's already you know 10 something i haven't even taken my shower i haven't eaten breakfast yet like i literally have built a routine and then the time has gone so much that it has passed the time i usually end the routine so i was contemplating and i was like hold on breathe and then i came back and then i wrote down the things that i have to do today there were literally three but i was stressing about it do you understand because i hadn't given myself a laid out plan but when i came back and then I sat down and I wrote the things that I wanted to do today and wanted to accomplish today. I realized that, oh, it's just three things. Now, if I do them step by step, 
I can finish it before the day closes. And I'm sitting here and I've actually done two of them and I'm doing the third one. So you need to be intentional. Don't go with the flow. Plan out your day. Plan it out. Sit down and be like, okay, this is what I want to do. And it might sound like it's so stressful, but you come to understand how helpful it is to accomplish like daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals when you're actually intentional. You're like, okay, this is what I want to do and this is what I am going to do. You plan on it and then you work towards it and then you achieve it. Secondly, which I think I mentioned earlier on is you need to have a routine babes if you don't have one build one no one wakes up and you know automatically has like a laid out routine if you are making your life routine let's that becomes your routine like if you don't have a laid out routine that okay this is what i'm going to be doing when i wake up in the morning i'm going to brush my teeth or when i wake up in the morning i'm not going to brush first i'm going to do this first and then i do this we need to have a routine which will help us to have a laid out plan because if you don't you're going to waste your time doing things over and over and over again which could have been done once and that would have been all so we need to take our time if you don't have a routine build one it keeps you more organized and systematic we think we don't have time but we actually do it's the mindset of doing it when it is right that holds us back and draws us back on time now for my next point which i feel like if you've been watching videos like this countless and countless number of times you've heard it countless and countless number of times but you probably haven't taken it as serious as you should no social media before you go to bed and right after you wake up from bed but you need to give yourself a duration I cannot tell you to not take your phone right after you wake up or right before you go to bed but you can put off your data you can put off the wi-fi so that you are not consumed and distracted by what you are being fed on social media and i had a second point which i'm going to merge into this which is don't scroll mindlessly on apps the reels the tiktoks yes we love them but after you watch all those countless number of tiktoks can you really remember every single one that you watch and every single information that you fed your brain because you are mindlessly scrolling so you are mindlessly consuming information which is not necessarily being stored in your long-term memory and in the long run it's not necessarily going to be beneficial to you it's kind of like you're trying to get some type of instant gratification which you are not receiving so your brain wants more like you just want more that's why you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. because the time that you are wasting mindlessly scrolling and mindlessly you know feeding yourself unnecessary information you could be using it to do something else it's not that you don't have time more. you waste your time you feel like oh i just woke up and now the day is gone i just woke up i don't know what i did now the day is gone. you were scrolling mindlessly on tiktok you were scrolling mindlessly on instagram and that was what stole your time and you don't know where the time went to you are just there you are scrolling scrolling before you realize an hour two hours three hours and it's all gone so remember no phones no 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 phones no social media right before you wake up and right after no right before you go to bed and right after you wake up and don't scroll mindlessly on the internet now my fifth point which is probably the most important by far is that you need to prioritize your time with god let me read this he's the most important person in our life but we treat him like a bag of chips you get some when you're hungry and food's not ready but he is the food we need to survive how are you eating breakfast lunch and dinner but you're not feeding your spirit you are starving your spirit of the word because you know that is what feeds our spirit right you feed your flesh but you forget to feed your spirit and we claim oh we don't have time you know i'll say a five a five minute prayer which doesn't even reach five minutes our father who in heaven you finish in less than 30 seconds and then you think you are good to go you are good you're good to roll for the day you know bible study listening to worship music being intentional with your relationship with god and taking him more seriously because god is always ready you he's ever ready to take you in and when i tell you the peace that comes with prioritizing your time with god and being intentional all these things around us here you know going to work going to school our, our families and all these things there are things that he has blessed us with but we need not to take our eyes off of him who is the most important one in the entire conversation he gave us the things we have so we need to honor him and we need to acknowledge his presence every time but we find ourselves not even paying attention to him I mean, you come to understand that living a life with christ doesn't necessarily mean that everything is going to be you know 
joy happy especially while we're still on this earth that doesn't mean that he has called us to suffer no it just means that the enemy is at work when you actually take god seriously and you accept him into your life and you start living for him you understand the beauty of going through all those trials and tribulations in peace because you know there's an end goal you have hope you have faith those things are so important to us as believers as christians as human beings in general because with the hope that i have even when things are going sideways, even when things are going wrong, I know he said he has plans to prosper me, plans for good and not for harm. So I'm not going to be disturbed. Even if things are going ways I wish they would go another way off, I still have peace. I found peace in the violence, can tell me there's no point in trying. Now my one. And I've been quiet for so long. You find peace through the entire chaos, the violence and all of it. Because he is your peace. He is your source of joy. He's the one that gives you hope. So we need to prioritize our time with God. Take your relationship with God seriously. I'm tired of people saying God is God is number one in my life. He's first. Like Jah is first. You know, making all those statements, but you can't see it in their lifestyle. You can't see the love for God in them. You can't see the fire for God burning inside of them. And I'm not sitting here trying to claim, you know, holier than thou and you know, me being on point with my relationship with God every single day because there are days where I slip and slack. But it's about being intentional, like I said in the beginning. You need to be intentional. When you are deliberate about it, you're more conscious of yourself and it helps you in your path with Christ. It helps you in your journey. It helps you with every single thing. Literally, there's answers for everything in the Bible. There is an answer for every question in the Bible. So we, we as believers, we don't have problem. We don't have keys. Like we don't we don't have we don't have problem. You are the creator of the universe is your father. He's your king. He's, he's your friend. What does he want? He owns everything that we see. All this thing is temporary. He owns everything. So, like, come to think of it. So, learn to prioritize. And I feel like I need to make a, a, a whole separate video talking about prioritizing your relationship with God so that we can delve deeper into it. So, prioritize your relationship with God. Prioritize your time with God on a daily basis. Not weekly, not monthly. Daily. Feed your spirit. It's hungry. You are starving it. When they say fasting, they say fast your flesh, not fast your spirits. Hmm? Now to my next point. I'm going to read it because, babes, it's given a paragraphic situation here and I cannot memorize it. So don't take life too seriously. No matter how serious the situation may be, it will probably not matter in the next few months. Taking so much to heart is what builds up into resentment. Let things go for real. It's for your own good. They hurt you. They lied to you. They were pretending. All those things, they shouted at you. They scolded you. All those things, you need to let them go. Because if you are keeping them and you are harboring them in your heart, who is it worrying? Is it not yourself? Is it not you yourself? Because you are probably angry at somebody who doesn't give too... Mm, to how you feel. They probably don't give a damn. They probably don't care. They could care, no, they couldn't care less. Because the, the caring they are caring is too less to even care more. You are trying to live a life of ease. You are trying to live a soft life. But you are letting things be problematic and prolonged for too long in your heart. Is you that you are giving yourself a problem? Because you'll be thinking. And me, I'm a thinker. I think a lot. Eh? I'm not an overthinker. I'm a deep thinker. I've changed that mindset. That, oh, I'm an overthinker. We, we'll talk about that more. I'm not a I think I'm a deep thinker, but I don't think about, you know, things that If you don't understand tree, I'm sorry. Like, in a time tree me. See, I was trying to translate it into English. <laughs> like it has sat in my heart for long. No. Say you mean you be I won't do that work again because it's you that you are worrying yourself. Now, my final point, which is not least from any of them, last but not the least. I discovered this not long ago and then I made that decision, particularly when I was entering into April or no, January, February, March, around March, April. And then I was like, you don't need to match people's energies. 
you can create your own energy for people to match yours so let me read this create your own energy and let others adjust to it as long as you create a good energy you exude others have no other choice than to actually massage their energy to match yours if they also have good energies then it shouldn't be hard for you to collide and cooperate people will try to come into your life with their own bad and negative energy you are not objected or subjected to conform to their their way of life if you are bringing negative energy i'm also coming with positive energy and i'm not going to change my energy to suit yours you need to check yourself and check your surrounding because i know i'm exhuming and you know bringing a good aura so if you are coming to me with fake energy negative energy you have to check yourself before you come into my circle you have to check yourself before you come into my space because i'm not going to allow anything to perforate through the holes and come and negate the entire aura the the entire environment so don't don't you know the whole thing of you know when you bring this energy i will match your energy oh create your energy and let them match it it is your life you are the main character and you might be wondering, okay, so now do if everybody is creating their own energies, who will match whose energy? If they are coming with good energy, it shouldn't be a problem. Because I'm having good energy, you're having good energy. So we just, you know, match and we cooperate, we collide. We collide and we move on. But if you are coming with an opposite energy of what I am having and what I am exhuming, then becomes a you problem. And it actually works. Spread positivity. Life's too short. Now I feel like I've been speaking so much and I've actually given you guys all the points I have here. But there's still so much that I can't tell. So I feel like I might make a part two or something. All these things, like I'm being serious. Like if you actually go step by step and you, you take all these things seriously, life becomes much easier. You realize that you actually have more time on your hands than you think you do. And you are more organized things are done in a more systematic way and you'll be like oh it takes work to you know now i've come to sit down and plan and do all those things but if you actually do it like if you take your time to do it, you realize that it doesn't it takes little time to plan out your day and it takes little time to actually get things accomplished and then you realize that you have so much time on your hands to actually do whatever you want so if you want to go scrolling on social media you have like the time as long as you've planned your day out you realize that you actually do have time Hmm? and it helps you it makes life easier and that's what we are aiming at ease comfort a life without stress that is the soft life if you want a luxurious life that one is a whole another topic for another day but if you want a soft life if you want a life without ease a life where you are not stressed follow these things hmm? follow them religiously I'm speaking from experience that's why I'm sitting here I know I'm not so old I'm still young I'm not even 20 but I still think this is information that we can all learn from. So now that I have given you the information, now that I've given you, I've spilled the tea, go into the world and make me proud. Now, if this was good for you, if you feel like you learned a lot in this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's grow our channel. Let's grow our family. Let's grow our base, okay? And I'll see you all in my next one. Go follow me on all my socials as well and have a soft life in Christ. Have a blessed week. Have an amazing day. Big Night is always watching you as usual. Be good boys and girls for the week. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.